Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you um, what sleeves are used for Vanguard. So, um, starting off here, I have this standard size sleeve, which is actually um, for body fight. Um, just a, it really is just a typical standard size sleeve. Um, I can open it up for you. So this is how it looks like. Um, and then it's the back. Uh, yeah, honestly, when I bought this, um, I thought you know the color scheme was quite nice. So I use this thief for my right deck for overdress. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. So the second one I have uh, is this, um, which I got from my friend actually. So. Yeah, this is also standard size, um, which means uh, it will be ideal to have an inner sleeve so that your card doesn't move around. And if you want to know how I sleeve, uh, there's another video that I have um, that I've posted before. So you can check that out as well. So these two are standard size. Uh, I'll just put it here. <laughs> then another one I have is this. So actually this is pretty random because I got this as sort of like a gacha because um, I found something uh, online that um, you know it's quite cheap so basically you pay like a certain amount and then they'll give you a random pack of sieves uh, and they'll send it to you so uh, the one I got is this which uh, I didn't end up using because it um, doesn't really fancy me <laughs> so this is also standard size um, yeah. So that's just one funny story. So another, another one that I have um, that I quite like is actually this, uh, which I got for $18, which is, I would say, pretty worth it. Um, because, um, you know, it's quite a nice leaf. And then I'm also quite a fan of the anime. And yeah. So this one I've used clearly because these are the spares that I have. Um, yeah. So moving on. Okay, so this is pretty special because um, I'll just open it up. Oh yeah, so this is also standard size. Um, okay, so in this pack, right, these four are from the booster box that I've opened for overdress. And then this one, um, I literally just bought it like a few hours ago for my premium deck. Um, yeah, and then uh, you know, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's Vanguard's 10th anniversary, so I just got it. And then this one, I basically okay, so all these are uh, Japanese size sleeves, so they fit into a Vanguard card um, just nice, or rather, they fit just nice into a Vanguard card. So all these are Japanese size sleeves, all by Bushi Road. So, um over here, this is the 10th anniversary. I use it for my Bermuda deck. And this one, I use it for my Kagero deck. So, just just for you guys to know, I have, I currently have five decks. Uh, one premium deck, two V premium, um, and two overdress. Two overdress decks. So these are the standard size sleeve. Oh no, not, not standard, Japanese size sleeves. Um, that I use for my uh, premium and uh, V premium decks. So yeah. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, moving on. I actually have more Japanese size sleeves from Bushi Road. Okay, I'll put this here. So over here, um, this is actually a uh, Japanese size sleeve from Bushiroad themselves. So it's actually called Mini. Um, basically, uh, they're Mini because they're not standard size. And it fits just nice into a uh, Vanguard card. Yeah, so this, I have actually three packs of this. So this is the first one. Uh, second one, this one I use it for like gift markers. Um, and and all that 
quick shoes on it. And I actually have a third one. So this one I actually use for my G zone for my premium deck. Okay, so moving on, Bushy Road actually has their own form of standard size sleeves. So uh it's called HG. Uh yeah actually it says high grade I think in Japanese. So I guess it means high grade. Um so this is actually standard size sleeve, so you can use it for um your standard size cards like uh buy shorts or that. But you you also can use it for Vanguard, just that I would recommend using an uh, inner sleeve. So I I also have three packs of this. So this first one, the second one, sells at work, and the third one. So this one I currently use for my one of my overdress decks. Along, along with this. So this one I use it for Barrel Magnus. This one I use it for the Final Rush Bruise deck. Yeah, so that's all I think for my um, anime sleeves. So I have some more which I can show you guys. I'll just put all these aside first. Okay, so um, Next, I have this, which is Dragon Shield Clear Sleeves. So these are standard size. Um, originally, I used this um, as an over sleeve for my Japanese size sleeve. Um, so uh, maybe I'll give a bit of thoughts about using this. Um, okay, so uh, for this kind of sleeves, right? Um, actually, I pref I would recommend using um these these Z sleeves because for your over sleeves because this uh inside is very slippery so when you sleeve your Japanese size sleeve right um while shuffling it can just slip out it's very very easily so um I wouldn't really recommend this um yeah but if you compare it to the Z sleeves um it doesn't fall out uh, most of the time, in, in fact, almost all the time, it doesn't fall at all. But but if you use this, um, chances are that you know your Japanese size sleeve will slip. So yeah, so this is for Dragon Shield, um, clear mat. I actually have two boxes of it. <laughs> um, next is actually this. So. Back then when I wasn't sure what kind of anime sleeves to use, I used to use clear sleeves. Oh no, not clear sleeves. Like just normal normal colored sleeves like this. So these are Japanese size. So it fits the Vanguard card exactly. I can actually just take one over here to show you guys. Um so just a clear uh, or rather a coloured sleeve uh, it fits just nice into a Vanguard card so um, if you're unsure whether what kind of sleeves to use uh, these are recommended um, because uh, they're pretty good uh, I'm not sure whether it fits into a C sleeve I can actually, if I don't know it does, I can actually try it so I'll just open it up right here for you guys. Okay, yeah, I'll slip this back. Okay, Z sleeve. Yeah, it does. So you can use it for Z sleeves as well. Um, maybe since I've already done this demo, I can show you uh, the Dragon Shield over sleeve over here. So this is your standard, uh, your Japanese size sleeve, right? You can just sleeve it in, and you know because there's like this, there's so much gap. You know that it, it, once you tap it, you know it already moves like a bit. So and it's very easy to take up. But for these sleeves, it requires more effort to actually take it up. You know, All right? 
very easily. So, um, whereas for this, um, if you flip it and you like flip it right, you see it comes out. So, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, so moving on uh, to the next one. Okay, let me just take this out first. And I'll, I'll store my blue seal spec into this. And I'll move on to the next one. Um, oh, actually I'm done. Pretty much I'm done. Maybe I can show you guys what clear sieves I use. And I use um, this, which is perfect for a backup. Uh, because it fits just nice. This is the one I, I use, which is this. Uh, it fits just nice in the Vanguard. Not, not just nice, but pretty much just nice. So that's that. And this is actually for standard size sieve for like Pokemon cards. Uh, it fits perfectly for Pokemon cards. So, um, yeah. But I use this because uh, I can keep like two or more Vanguard cards in one sleeve without damaging it. So, that's what I use this for. Uh, next in line, um, actually, okay, I'll shift this here first. Uh, I'll have a look at this. Okay. So I have some more here, which is actually Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. Uh, the reason I, I didn't use this because, um, okay, it fits well into a backup card, but then when you want to use these sleeves, that's a problem because it doesn't go in very easily. It's, it's, uh, it takes a lot of effort for for these sleeves to go in. So I didn't use it in the end, uh, which is quite a shame because it's actually very nice. So. Uh, yeah, and I think I just have about two more left, two more sleeves. So, one of it is actually this Hyper Mad Mini, which is a Japanese size sleeve, similar to the one, the blue dragon shoe one that I showed just now, uh, except that it's white. So, um, I guess you have more options on whether you want Dragon Shoe or this. But um, in terms of brand wise, Dragon Shoe is definitely more branded, so it's more expensive. So yeah, depends on your budget as well. So uh, lastly, I have this, but um, this is standard size. So this is basically this, just that um, it's standard size. So. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't really recommend this for Vanguard. Um, yeah, so, and then, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so these leaves are very important. Uh, I have friends that use other brands, but personally, I really like this, so I never really change. So, uh, these red ones are for sleeping standard size leaves, and the green ones. Which I've shown just now over here are for sleeving Japanese over sleeving Japanese size sleeves. So these Z sleeves are over sleeves. And yeah, I really recommend you guys to check out my other video on how to sleeve your cards. So that's pretty much all the sleeves that I have. Um and if you are interested in like things like or or rather if you collect cards or it doesn't really have to be fine up. Um, you could also use top loaders, I guess, but because you know Vanguard is more of a player's van fan base, so um, if I'm wrong, there aren't too many collectors yet, so um, this aren't really that necessary, unless you really have a high, very high rarity card that you want to protect. So uh, I mean, in this case. I don't really have one, so uh, I don't really use this much. So yeah, that's pretty much all the sleeves that I currently have, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, I guess that's it for the video. Um, thank you.